Hi gang, my name is Steve Yates and today I want to show you PixelSep. PixelSep is something we've been working on for quite a while and we're ready to release it and we're excited about it. So without further ado, I want to show you some features of PixelSep. PixelSep loads from the filter menu, filter, PixelSep, and it'll open right up. And the first thing you notice about PixelSep is it has its own graphic user interface. It's not a action and it's not a graphic user interface that works outside of Photoshop. It's both. It's a graphic user interface that works inside of Photoshop. Uh, PixelSep does a handful of uh, things and it does them very detailed and I want to show you real quick um, design tools which is what I wanted to show you with this photo and it also does a lot of color separation and one of the things that you'll notice with the color separation is that it does not just the, the standard preset separations that other separate do, excuse me, it also does um, individual colors so you can select your own colors and have the, the separation out and in your customer's hands really quick and get an okay on it and separate it and get the dollars. So I'm going to real quick show you the design tools and go through them real quick. Pixel line art is uh, a couple things, black line and sketch line. Black line is a real hard black line uh, that you can use to, um, you know, use for your images if you want to make a nice black line image for the background or to color in uh, later on. And if you zoom in on this, you'll see it. I can't zoom in while I've got the program open, but you get the idea. I'm going to undo that and show you sketch line. And this is a quick demo. I'll show you the tools and the, the controls and all that later on. Uh, there's sketch line. You can kind of see that it gives you a kind of a pencil sketch image. If I crank the detail up here a little bit, um, you'll see that that will crank up the detail. <laughs> Let me back up. So you can kind of get an idea of how this works. Let me move on to Pixel Tune. Pixel Tune is a cartooning program. And just out of the box, I'll show you what it does. And we'll again, get into controls later. But uh, right now, just so you have an idea of what it does, there's a very basic cartoon that the uh, uh, Pixel Tune did. Coming back over, we're going to undo that. Uh, texture Tone. I'm going to show you something that I personally think is really neat about uh, um, Texture Tone. It does not just the dots and not just the ellipses, but it also does lines and crosses. And the reason why that's kind of neat is it makes some really cool background effects that are uh, really, really useful. Uh, if you remember seeing this this kind of image in the, uh, the 70s with the Clipper uh, magazine, or even some of the text that had this kind of fade in it, stuff like that, um, it's real useful for that kind of stuff. Uh, pixel Distress. I'm just going to go over a real quick uh, thing so you can see what Pixel Distress does. It's basically a distressor, and uh, it's not a your standard use a JPEG uh to distress with this is a um it, the program generates the distresses and to prove that um if you don't like this one you can just keep hitting the button until you like the one that you've got in front of you and then use it i'm going to go ahead and uh move out of this and we're going to go ahead and use this distress just to show you um some of these things fix bad image basically this is a jpeg Fixer Upper it uses um, Smart Blur and some other uh, current things to try and clean up an image uh, really well. I won't clean up the distress, obviously, but it will clean up the uh, artifacts and stuff like that from JPEGs. In large image, pretty much what it says it is. If I hit it, you see it got bigger. <laughs> Emphasize lights and darks is basically a um, curve that I use an S curve to try and uh, get a nice rich dark and a nice light black. Uh, sharpen and clean is basically a sharpener. Um, these are all pretty self-explanatory. Pump up dynamics. You can see that it kind of hits the highlights and the shadows. And I'm going to leave it at that for now. Next video is about color separations.